this video, you are going to learn how to create a Python library to share your code with others. Uh, and this step by step tutorial, you are going to learn how to organize your code, writing documentation, and packaging it for distributions. Here, I'll guide you through the steps to create a simple Python library. The first step is organize your code. This uh, code create a directory structure for your library, for example, my library, but uh, in this uh, uh, organization of your project, you have to use your own uh, library name. For example, I just put cool math. This is library name that's going to be published on the uh, PyPy website. And you can then create another uh, subdirectory inside the top level directory. This the subdirectory is called uh, packaging directory. That's going to uh, store the modules or the Python packages. So inside this Python uh, uh, sub libraries or packaging libraries, you can put init.py file and uh, other modules. Yeah, that you want to create a, a, a Python code. For example, here, module one and module two. And once you finish this structure, you can uh, create another file that is called setup.py, which is outside of the uh, sub directory, but it is in, inside of the top level directory. And readme is very uh, essential. So you have to uh, create another file inside the top level directory. So this is the directory structure to organize your code. This is the first step you have to do to build a Python library to share with others. Okay. Now here I have created uh, a project, a cool math. So the cool math is there is another uh, subdirectory inside subdirectory. I just created init.py and the math underscore operations.py file. This file uh, is a module and it's going it's just uh contain the modules, the functions. And inside the top level directory, I have created a readme.md and setup.py files. So those are very essential. Now, uh, writing your library code inside the subdirectory or packaging directory, you have to write the content as the function. So you have to define all functions that are necessary to build your uh, module. So here I have defined uh, the function that's going to add numbers, subtract numbers, multiply numbers, and divide numbers. So th those are all the functions that, that should be defined in the packaging uh, directory, okay? Then once you define the functions or the modules here, uh, you can uh, edit the init.file, which uh, imports all the modules inside the init.py uh, uh, file. So you, want, you can use from dots math operations, math operations in the same directory, and you can import all the functions inside this. This is the second step. This, once you finish this, uh, you can go to the readme. Uh, readme is uh, very important. So you have to define all the necessary uh, information or you have to organize uh, the documentation that provide full information about your package. Simple, for example, in this case, uh, simple Python library for basic mathematical operations. This is the definition of the package. And you can put the installation uh, steps, how the people could install uh, your library once you share to uh, the with others. Okay. So, uh, so you can define all the necessary information here, how they install, how they use that uh, library after they have installed on their computer. Uh, then the fourth step is create setup.py file. Here I have created setup.py uh, file inside the top level uh, directory. And 
I just configure this setup because this uh, uh, setup.py file uh, or script to specify the libraries, metadata, and dependencies. Uh, so here you have to define the name of the uh, library. Yeah, for example, code math one. So you have to make sure that this library is not existing the uh, PyPy uh, website. And you have to define the version of the your library. Uh, for example, if this is my initial version, so or I can put uh, two version two. I have published pre uh, previously, so I have to uh, that this is version two. And author of the the library, emails of the authors. You can put your own uh, email here, and you can put your own uh, author name, and you can define this description of the library. The other is. Uh, you can uh, read dot uh, md file. Just read all the descriptions, the long descriptions from readme dot md file, and your use of the uh, GitHub. So you have to put the GitHub URL about your project. So uh, that is another configuration. And here uh, you can define the license. Uh, the intended audience is uh, developers. Every developers can, and the license is OSI approved. MIT, you can change the license. It is up to you. And uh, the programming language here is Python. Uh, you can define the versions of the Python programming uh, language. You can use uh, Apache three, uh, and so. On. Okay. Once you finish this uh, setup, uh, you can uh, go to the. Uh, fifth step. The fifth step is build and distribute uh, your library. So in this case, uh, you can uh, use the command. Uh, first of all, you have to navigate to the uh, this top level uh, directory and uh, in command copy type Python three setup dot five and as it is. B is underscore with have this and enter uh, this and it's going to create a distribution directory inside your uh, top level directors. Yeah, as you can see here, everything is added here and the build is created and the distribution directory is created here. The next is uh, create a disk directory. So automatically created by running this code or command on your terminal. Uh, in the top level directory. And uh, you can now upload your library to the Python packet index uh, or share it with others directory. You can share it's the directory or it is best uh, way to uh, upload to the Python packet index, PyPy. Uh, so to upload uh, to the package uh, index, you need to create an account on your, on the PyPy and use queuing to upload your packet. But in this case, you need to install queuing. Uh, this is one of the libraries that used to upload our package or library. And the other thing is you need to create an account in the website, PyPy, for item packaging index. Okay, I have finished everything. Now, let's assume you have the account uh, and you can use Turin upload this underscore uh, Python and start. Yeah, everything is fine. It is uploaded on the website. Okay, this is the final step and you can go to the yeah, Pepe uh, packaging library, and you can see that uh, full mat one is uh, uploaded. So you can share the link to your uh, audiences. And uh, now, if you want to just install this, you can use tip install full mat one. Yeah. Yeah, already uh, satisfied. So it's uh, uh, cool. Everything is fine. So this is the way how you can create uh, 
Python library and distribute to others uh, by uploading to PyPy uh, website. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.